He can't come to the hood. Richard Milly, bitch, we out here. Mr. Ice Cream Man, Glizzy himself. Hey, hey, who run? Who run 37? Shy. Okay. Shy, outside. Friend, you don't even live around the corner no more to come glance at the nephew doing it up. And they told him don't come around no more. He said, book that. Whole deal being my shit. Talking about you, boy. Yeah. Then he tried to tell all the business. kids come down there. Yeah, yeah, I bet you do want a hundred kids around this. We don't hit kids. We don't shoot kids. We don't try to hit hundred kids. No kids. Put the kids back at your mama. That shot glizzy shit. Auntie mama, put the kids back in house. Auntie mama. Hold on, hold on. Who said someone gave them a hundred dollars? Well, Ma, he tried to say I'm giving all the kids a hundred dollars. Bitch, you ain't even, you right here on camera. The camera right here. The camera right here. He gotta stop what he doing. That's Takashi. Oh my, that's some Takashi shit. Now show, show this shit for real, big boy. Show no, I'm trying to show him. They, they, they seen him where he at. He right here. Camera, camera right here, man. Camera right here. Tell him pull up now. Nah, fuck, pull up now. It's still a camera. Why, why would it? No, don't pull up now. Yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick. Shot Glizzy, Young Jose. Uh, apparently, from what I'm gathering, Young Jose called out Shot Glizzy, said he can't come back to the hood. They both watch the DC rap artists, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of Shot Glizzy music, been jamming Shot Glizzy for years. Don't know too much about Young Jose. Just went tapped in and all this shit, though, over the last day. You know what I'm saying? He got some good shit. Nigga got some talent. Uh... This seemingly comes from a diss record that Young Jose dropped called Free Earl, where he's, you know, you can go check that out. I don't know nothing about those details, what's facts and what's not. That's between them on the political situation in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? How they, how whatever they got going on, the beef. I don't instigate the beef. You know what I'm saying? I come in and put my opinion on certain shit, though. And uh, by judging by this shit, man, this is one of the issues we having in the rap game today. It's double-sided though, because we as black people, as, as, as brothers, as niggas, as street niggas, as hustlers, players, pimps, even hard-working niggas, you know what I'm saying? All the niggas in hip-hop culture, we have motherfucking basically created a real double standard and bias in this, in this culture, man, where, okay, Shot Glizzy is a successful, successful rapper, you know what I'm saying? It's like one in who knows how many, my nigga, like one in thousands of niggas to become successful rappers, especially on the level of Shy Glizzy where he's actually been nominated for a Grammy before. You know what I'm saying? Part of working on a song with Grammy, with Gold Link and this and that. Now, a lot of artists have never achieved that. That's just what it is. Getting booked for shows, being around Meek Mill, being in the industry, doing features, being able to have rappers who in the game, numbers on your phone, uh, it's hard to get to that level. Now, with Young Jose, I do feel like, from what I heard, the nigga talented. He got some shit. The song he got called Free Earl, he's actually speaking. I've only heard Shy Glizzy speak on Earl. And he probably spoke on him more. The only one that I remember, because I've been fucking with Shy Glizzy since he tapped in with uh, Starlito on Law 2. So that's probably about five or six years I've been on Shock Lizzy. And, uh, you know, I, I fucked with that, that heavy. I fucked with the shit he did with Gates early on. I fucked with the shit he did with Gunplay early on. You know what I'm saying? And I've been rocking with the nigga ever since. So I look at it like this, man. You know, he's speaking personal shit at this disc record going at Shock Lizzy. You know what I'm saying? I've heard Shock Lizzy speak on the Earl before. The guy's also speaking up on Mari. I've heard, I've seen Shaq Lizzy speak up on Mari. That's one of the homies that got got murdered, if I'm not mistaken, or died. I don't know for sure. So, condolences to Mari. I don't know how he, how he passed away. I don't know. Uh, but I do know that, you know, that was somebody that was close to Glizzy. I don't know how close they was. So, I don't want to get none of that wrong. That's D.C. politics, that D.C. situation. But I will say this. This situation gets to a point where it's like okay 
He telling Glizzy, you can't come back to the hood. You can't come back to 37, which is in Southeast D.C. where they from. Okay. There's some niggas, and, and we can, you can get tricked out your position. Because there's niggas in the game, these internet fans, these little white kids, you know, because we live in the world of the internet's perception. The internet can make something become real and let it affect your career. So, I don't think it's smart for Shaq Lizzie to go back to his hood on that note because you coming back there with negative energy. Now, if you want to dip through during the daytime or, or, or dip through, even at nighttime, you just dip it through to show some love, fuck with your niggas, they know you coming. It ain't no interior motive. You ain't proving nothing. You just dip it through on some positive shit, cool shit, shoot a video, show, uh, show your face to the kids. That's love. That's live in the motherfucker. But... When you come through and the energy is already negative and shit like that, that's what makes it get to a point where something bad can happen. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want to see nothing happen to Shot Glizzy. Nigga don't want to see nothing happen to Young Jose, man. You know what I'm saying? But I know these egos get in the way, and I ain't going to call myself as a perfect nigga. But nigga call me out to a certain extent, I'm going to feel like I got to prove something to, depending on the situation, depending on the nigga. That's about being a man. But at the same time, Shaq Glizzy is a successful rapper who makes money off of rap music, who gets paid off of making rap music. And we've been seeing too many niggas getting killed in their own hood, in their own city. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will put this out there. You see, they came face to face in the video. Young Jose is not a dumb nigga. And I say that to say this. They came face to face in the video. The young Jose nigga and them, they, him and his niggas going back and forth or whatever. He says, nigga, there's a camera. You seen them on the videos in the beginning. There's a camera over there. So that let me know right there that you not one of these crash dummies. You not one of these assholes. You not one of these dumb ass niggas. You not a fool. You got rap videos. You got rap music. So you smart enough to do that. So that let me know right there that you not an asshole. So I just look at this shit like, man, y'all gotta move forward past that shit, man. Y'all sit down and chop that shit up. It ain't that deep as y'all wanna make it seem. Y'all both on camera going at each other. Anything happen, niggas getting locked, and ain't nobody getting no paper. So I say all that to say this, man. Run y'all sack up. I fuck with DC music. Keep doing y'all thing. If y'all got a personal issue, hit each other line, talk it out. If y'all just got to agree to disagree, do that, man. But it ain't no point of y'all niggas just going at each other. Y'all were face-to-face, ain't nothing happen. Y'all both obviously know that y'all be tricking y'all selves out y'all position to go that far. Urban Politicians TV, subscribe to the channel. More videos coming, more everything, man, 100.